There are no hard sanctions for organizations that misspend bond money. Currently, um, the OSAE, what does that stand for again? Office of State Audits, audits and Evaluations, there we go, within the Department of Finance does periodic audits of agencies that administer bond money. Where agencies spend bond money inappropriately, the OSAE issues a corrective action plan. There's no consequence for agency noncompliance. Some cases, same deficiencies appear in subsequent audits of the same agency. My bill creates a much needed consequence for noncompliance. SB 633 allows the Department of Finance to issue a cease and desist order to prevent further bond revenue spending until the cap is properly implemented. We owe it to the California taxpayers to ensure their money is spent efficiently and legally, and there really needs to be greater accountability. SB 633 passed both Senate Governance and Finance on the floor with unanimous bipartisan support, supported by the Little Hoover Commission, California Water Agencies, Caltax, Cal Chamber, and I request an I vote. There, there's a lot of issues here. The real thing is that we do billions and billions of dollars of bonds. We actually have $33 billion of unsold bonds right now. The taxpayers have an expectation that when they allow this money to be used for the purposes stated, that it will be actually spent in a way that even ourselves as legislators are held accountable. This is a, a minimal issue. It certainly doesn't have the teeth many would like to have, but it's a start. As for the concerns that were raised by the Coalition of Adequate School Housing, uh, we're willing to work with them on amendments to take away that concern. As far as the others, I would have a problem taking away those because I think it would drive a stake right through the heart of what the intent of this legislation is. And I ask for your I vote.